What's going on YouTube? Casting McNasty here. Uh, so today, as you can see, I just got my brand new gi. Um, so I wanted to give a quick review. I haven't done a review on any gis before. Um, I've owned a couple of really nice ones. Um, but uh, I recently tore the pants in one of my King's kimonos. And I had a really nice white Machado gi that ended up getting shrunk um, when my wife washed it. So uh, today, this just came in the mail, literally just got dropped off. Um, and I wanted to kind of cover some of the features of it um, and talk about how really nice this gi is. Uh, so if you can't already tell, if you aren't already familiar, uh, this gi is the Storm Kimonos 1996 Limited Edition. Uh, from what I understand, there's not that many made, around 300, I think, uh, I could be wrong, but it is a limited edition, so when they sell out, that's it. Uh, based on their sizing chart, I went ahead and got an A3. Uh, they claim it is pretty shrunk. Uh, I'll have to do a follow-up video to let you know how it how it looks uh, and fits after after wash. Um, but from what I understand, Storm Kimonos is really good with their pre shrunk pre shrunk gis. Uh, they don't really shrink at all. They they fit the same. Um, so when I was looking at it, I thought it might be a little long on the sleeves for me. Um, I was hoping that wasn't the case, uh, and I thought the the pant the pant legs might be a little bit long too, um, but straight out of the package, it's actually perfect. It is it's I've never had a gi fit this well, straight out of the package. Um, it's usually a little bit long or a little bit short, uh, but it is it it fits it fits uh, like a glove. I I could say that. Um, the top is nice. It's not it's not too tight on the torso. Um, it's not too tight on my shoulders. I feel like I have a good range of motion in it. Um, and it's actually, it's actually fairly light. Uh, one, of the, one of the other things I like about it is the lining on the inside is cool to the touch. So when I put it on, it almost felt like it was a little bit damp. Um, but, uh, but it's not. It's just, uh, I guess it has a cooling fabric on the inside, which is really nice. The pants, uh, you can't really see from here, but as far as the pant leg, uh, length they go down to just below my ankle so the 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 pant leg is touching the top of my foot just barely touching the top of my foot uh, which is really nice that I like that feel I don't like it to be too short and obviously we don't want to be so long that our heel is stepping on it um, I will take off the jacket and you can kind of see the inside uh, I like the design of it. I like the, the navy blue, the indigo is what they're calling it. Um, I like that color. I've never had a gi this color before. My king's kimono was was just blue. So, pull this out. I'm gonna turn it inside out for you so you can kind of see um, what, the, what the inside looks like. Uh, so it has this red lining here. Uh, it's supposed to be uh, like anti-grip. Uh, and it has that lining in on the ends of the sleeves, on the cuffs of the sleeves. It's supposed to help prevent getting a good grip on the gi. Um, whether or not that's the case, I don't know. I haven't tested it. Um, but it's also on the inside of the lapel as well. And all the way down across the bottom. Um, so that's pretty nice. We have reinforced stitching uh, in, the, in the jacket here, which is really nice. Um, and then you can kind of see... Right here on the sleeve, there's a separate fabric running along here. This is, I'm going to say this is reinforced, uh, this is for reinforcement purposes, but I think this is the material, it's like a ripstop material that, that kind of gives it that cooling, that cooling feeling, um, that cool to the touch. So I'm going to back. So what's nice about this is it's a simple design. I'm very, I'm very much into like the retro style, uh, logos as well. Um, but on the right sleeve, we have the Storm established 1996, um, this is Worldwide Jiu-Jitsu Crew, uh, and then it has the little lightning bolt at the bottom, little thunderbolt. Uh, again, on the back, top, uh, upper back, Storm Kimonos, company established 1996, and then across the bottom on the skirt, just says Storm, and on the right hand side, we have a huge thunderbolt, lightning bolt. Um, and then on the front left chest, uh, we have the lightning bolt uh, kind of outlined. Uh, so pretty cool. Uh, nice clean look to it. Um, 
I'm a big fan of it, and like I said, it, it fits perfectly. Uh, the pants, uh, they are ripstop material, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, I feel like the ripstop materials, the only two pants that I've had that have ripped were both ripstop. One was a, a Kiko Hasa, and then the most recent one was my Kings. Um, so that's kind of disappointing, but but overall it's good. It makes the pants lighter, uh, so if you're going to wear this in competition uh, and you have to weigh in with your gi, then obviously that's something you're going to take into account. I believe navy blue is allowed, not 100%, uh, in IBJJF competitions. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, again, across the leg, we have the Storm Kimonos, uh, embroidery there. Um, I don't think, oh, and then we have on the back in red this time, the, the lightning bolt outlined. And then I think, yeah, I think those are the only, those are the only symbols. Um, there seems to be some extra padding across the knee area, which is nice. Um, and then at the bottom, at uh, the bottom of the pant leg, sorry, I should be looking at the camera. I'll bring this up, but on the inside of the pant leg, the cuff, there's also that reinforcing, but this is also that like anti-grip uh, technology um, that they claim to have. Uh, we have four belt loops, or I don't wanna say belt loops, uh, four loops here for the tie. Um, the string is not a rope. It's the material that the pants are made out of, um, but I think there's, there's some slight elasticity to this. It seems to have a little bit of a give um, I don't know if you can see that on camera. Um, but they're claiming that the pants are much easier to take off because of the material that it's made out of. Uh, it says it should slide out a lot easier. Uh, but And to give you an idea, so this is an A3, and this is as wide as it opens. Um, so there's not too much give. I've, I've worn some pants that are just huge. I could fit two of myself in them, um, which once you bunch it up, is not entirely comfortable, um, and then they end up coming loose a lot easier. Uh, but uh, the string, probably a little excessive, it's a little long, uh, but I guess if you're a bigger guy, it might be good for you. Uh, but we'll see, usually when the pants are dry, it's much easier to pull, uh, to pull open. Um, once you've been uh, in a good, long, hard training session, and you're sweaty, uh, they tend to become a little bit harder to open up. Um, at least that's the way my, my Gracie Academy gi is. Um, and it uses uh, a very similar, or uses the pants material, but theirs is not ripstop, so I don't know if that's gonna make a difference. Um, based on the reviews for Storm Kimonos and, and using this type of uh, band, uh, people are saying that it doesn't come untied. Now I don't know if they're double knotting it or just regular knot. They're saying it's not coming untied, so that may be the case. I haven't trained in it. So again, I'll do an updated video once I train uh, in the gi and, and give it a wash. Uh, but this is the initial review, the unpackaging, uh, so to speak, uh, of the gi. So far, really nice, really impressed with it. Um, the nicest gi I've had other than this was an Origins uh, Axiom. And uh, huge fan of Origin, really like their gis. Um, but uh, I have to say this is probably my new favorite. Uh, just just based on the feel um, straight out of the package uh, we'll see how it, how it goes when it rolls all right um, if you guys have any questions comments criticism feel free to leave that down in the box below uh, but until next time I will see you guys later keep training